It's me, Chocolate Bear, taking you through one of my reviews of Jack and Jill DX. This game is developed by Rohan Norang and published by Rataleika Games. It's a platformer and it's on the Xbox, PlayStation and Switch and it's priced at $3.99 and that's in dollars and pounds. Here's a little synopsis. Once upon a time, Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. It didn't particularly end well for them, and to be honest, things aren't exactly great for another Jack and Jill either. In Jack and Jill DX, players must assume the role of Jack overcoming many hazards in a bid to reach Jill, who awaits him at the end of 140 levels in typical old school one button platforming fashion. But for players who feel the guy should be the one who needs saving, we absolutely agree. That's why Jill is available as a playable character as well. Whoa, mind blown. This features seven worlds made up of 20 levels each. Seven in-game mini-games where you can earn tickets for the in-game store in-game store with in-game tickets that are used for unlocking hats and screen colors also there's a mirror mode with that out of the way let's get into what i thought jack and jill is a nice game with a cool black and white art style which has a few challenging levels mixed with timing your jumps to get jill happily there isn't a pail of water and the hills are all reachable bad jokes aside Controls for Jack and Jill are simple. The A button controls your jump, and that's all you need. Levels do get harder. Expect jump pads, enemies, spikes, just to name a few, to make levels more challenging as you progress. There isn't a story except you need to get from one part of the level to the next to save Jill, or as we know from earlier, switching it around Jill to save Jack. Once you complete World 1, you unlock a mini game which gives you the chance to get as many tickets as you can in a minute to buy hats for Jack or Jill to use. Remember, this is a title priced cheaply, so don't expect hours and hours of playtime. I'll get into my short, sharp, what I thought of the game. As this was a review copy, I didn't have to spend a penny of my own money. So, here goes. If you enjoy achievements, this is good, quick, excellent for you. Gameplay wise, it's okay, and I did enjoy collecting those achievements. If you've enjoyed this video, please press the like button. In the comments below, let me know if you've picked up this game, and what you'd like me to review next. We're dropping videos at least three times a week, like My First Hour, the Cross Atlantic Gaming Podcast, of course the reviews, and a few of Chaotic's Borderland 3's tricks, tips, and all things Borderlands. It's been my pleasure taking you through this review. Until next week, game on.